Hey guys, breaking news! A new vector editing software has been announced, Corel Vector. But is that really a new software? Or just a new name for old software? Take a look, here's the post from 2018. Corel expands graphic design software portfolio with acquisition of graphic designer. So it happened in 2018 and they just bought them. They did nothing about this online vector editor for several years and just today they decide to rename it to Core Vector. So that's just simply a new name for old good grabby designer. I was quite surprised that they wait so long with this. We can still head to the same link but this time as you can see at the top of the page, there's a Core Draw. So this website is right now integrated into the Core family. We can scroll down to see options for Gravity Designer, or as they call it right now, Core Vector. All features remain the same. And as you can see here, they place this Core Vector here together along other Core apps. So they try to make it kind of like entry-level coral for hobbyists and amateurs. That's how they try to advertise this app right now. Of course, the biggest benefit is we can use it directly in the web browser on any operating system. So this is HTML5 app, so you can launch this inside your Chrome, on Mac, Windows, iPad, Chromebook, Android phone, or whatever you like. Just keep in mind that the touch-friendly interface is behind the paywall. So this app is kind of like freemium app. We got need to subscribe. This is just one year subscription. This is not uh, buying the app once forever like for Appunity Designer. This is just one year subscription. Right now $70, so that's quite costly. And we still can use it for free. You can just click start here. It's almost like they try to hide this fact that we can use it for free. If I click start here and I log into my free account, I will see this very familiar screen from Gravity Designer where I can select the size of new artboard and here I am inside the editor. Keep in mind, there are so yellow features. My premium expired already, so I cannot use them. Yellow indicates premium features. So for example, I cannot change anything here. If I click on this drop box, with this yellow color, I will get a pop-up that they want me to buy a premium to subscribe. I cannot buy it forever. You need to subscribe. All right. So what can we do for free? You can see I'm trapped here in RGB color mode. I cannot change that as well, but I can access all tools from the toolbar at the top. So I can easily draw vector shapes. I can modify them in the inspector. So core features are still here. Nothing has really changed here. It was always like this in Gravit Designer that there are some premium features and free features. So that's not a color messing up with the program. We can use effects for free. We can modify colors and borders, opacity and stuff like that. So only sections that are marked with yellow color. We can modify the shape by using some geometric operations. If I have a second shape here, I can select both and then I can simply unite them here using Boolean operations. That's here for free. That was always here. Nothing missing. We got our node tool, our sub selection tool. So if I transform this compound shape into path, I can use sub selection as they call it here to move, modify, add or delete nodes. So this is very, very normal vector editing experience here. And of course, our favorite pen tool is here as well. It's quite good. So this is the very same Gravit Designer with a new name, all right? So we got Color Vector, that's the new name for it. So officially Color, Color like uh, start advertising this software they bought in 2018. So they finally make the mine. Is that a good or bad news? It's hard to say just yet. I'm kind of happy because I was afraid they will abandon this and the Color one day we cannot use Gravit Designer. 
but seems like they got other plan they're going to support this as the entry level core software so that's better than we simply deleted right as you can see here we got some yellow options here and there i cannot export my project to all formats i want it's like 150 it's the highest dpi i can get for free version so you can still edit and export your work in the free version not a problem at all but keep in mind there are some premium features marked with yellow color and if you are on touch device like ipad you need to pay for the premium version to have like touch input by default you got this desktop input with mouse and keyboard but if you want to switch to touch friendly input you will have to pay for it you will need a premium version that is quite costly in my opinion it's like 100 dollars for one year now we got like 30 percent off but it's still like more expensive than buying affinity designer and you can use it forever so i bought affinity designer for like i think on some kind of promotion for 39 dollars three years ago or four years ago already and i've been using this for years here you can pay only for one year and then you will have to pay again and be careful because if you buy it in this promotion 30 percent off and it's renew itself for next year it will be full price so we will pay all, like 100 dollars full price for the next year after that if you forget about your subscription all right so here it is this is not a new software simply a new name for all good gravity designer let's hope it will get uh, some new features soon if Corel decide to support this not just put the new name on it and keep it like this we didn't get any new features for almost two years so let's hope this big move will bring new features and options to this software this is one of the best free vector software for web-based use so we can use it on chromebook mac and windows so it's cross-platform i've been using this with my student that cannot afford any other vectors software and they don't have skills to install like free stuff like inscape and stuff like that so that was the easiest way for them simply follow the link and you can use gravity designer for free so that's still here you can still do it just keep in mind the new name is coral vector all right guys for more vector editing content please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in the next video bye